In the previous tutorial, we created this plastic box. And as you know, the plastic box have all covers have rib inside to support them. Because this box with this design might be not very strong. And here come the function of the rib to create a supporting parts for your boxes or other products. So you need first to create a sketch for your rib and from there you are able to create your rib. So let's try to make a rib in the middle of that box to support these walls. We can pick this surface, insert a sketch and this big line normal to find the center point center point here and if you go to the feature you'll find the rib is activated without exiting the sketch that means you are able to work with the rib so now that line is ribbed. Here you see the direction of the rib and the thickness of supporting rib. If you want to change the direction, you can click here or you can click on that arrow. So let's see if we will get the right direction. So it's not. So you select it should be normal to the sketch. So we have that sketch. So now we should flip downward. Okay. Now you have that rib is created. So you know the idea or the meaning of the rib now. So if you want to make another type of rib to make it on the side. Here we can do it either to insert a reference plane in the middle. So let's see if we have a plane is passing from the middle. We have the right plane. Let's insert a sketch in there and make a cross section view. Okay, normal too. Here we have this cross section. Let's draw a line. Try to find place for that rib. Okay, now let's go to rib. You can see the shape and the direction of the rib. So I think now it is on the right direction. And here you have different you have you know, from one side or both sides or second side we make it in the middle click OK now you have that rib this back to the normal view and here you have your rib 